Eleven year old assassin Robert Robert Snit Robert Standifer Yummy Chicago gang member. I heard about Yummy's story only because only because oh sorry Kevin it's too late we started already I'm sorry I'm sorry my boy I'm sorry I only heard about Yummy because the first time I heard about him he was the cover art of Sleepy Hollow's project I think this is the picture right here um Sleepy Hollow's first project and EP he was the cover art Don't Sleep Sleepy's best project as well um and then I later learned about his story. Now, I want to get into this video so I can refresh my mind and so we could all, as one, learn about his story. But with that being said, y'all, make sure I like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell down below to be notified every time I drop a new video and every time I go live. Because as I can see, I'm live right now. Shout out to the people in the chat. Shout out to the people that's in the stream. But let's go ahead and jump into this video, man. I want to see what they got to say. Yummy wasn't your average kid and didn't have much in life. He was abused by his mother, resulting in him being removed by state workers after Let's they found spell. him covered in bruises with cigarette burns on his body, including Damn. his buttocks. He then moved with his grandmother in his early years. Excuse me, I didn't tell you to come out here now. Okay. I didn't ask for no appreciation to come as of now. She's planning the funeral. and she would like for... What is for, your problem? Uh, to get... Her settlement season right now. Who what? She's planning the funeral. Who, who she's planning? The That's the grandmother. This is her house. Oh. Robert is my grandson. And I love him. And we hope everybody else loves him. In spite of what somebody said, I don't care what nobody said. Mm -hmm. Robert is mine. Until he got in legal trouble and spent time in the juvenile facilities. He was allegedly robbing, getting into shootouts, and breaking into houses at the early ages of 9 and 11, even though his family says something different. Hey, hey man, he was a little kid. He was a kid? Yeah. When you say he was, how old was he? He was 11. 11? Yeah. What was he like like when he was a little, little kid? He was a sweet little kid. And he wasn't violent. And he wasn't bad. The way they got it, the way they talking about now, that's not true. It's not true. He would join a gang called Eight Ball of Run. That was in the clip of Sleepy Hollow's track. I think it's the last track on his EP. This summer. That was the clip. And I'm going to I'm going to we're going to talk about the Sleepy Hollow EP after this just so I could show y'all, but that's crazy, bro. Around this age too, which now they go by Rudeville slash Dirty Perry Crazy. They are mostly black disciples. Damn, DK. Glad to have you back though, my boy. I ain't going to lie. They are also Glad to have you back. Up with 104L, Snake Pit, Trouble City, and Prince Town which makes up Wentworth Mob. They beef with sets like 10-7, D-Block, 10-3, Shannon Block, Duke? MM. He said D-Block? D-Block? Nigga, Duke Dennis? They beef with sets like 10-7, D-Block, 10-3, Shannon Block, MMG, Luryland, and 11-5 Ville, and E-Spot. Yummy joined the 8-Ball Black Disciples at only the age of 9 or 10, and he had BDN tatted on his right forearm, and at the age of 11, Yummy had a rap sheet including charges of theft, arson, and armed robbery. Yummy was known around the neighborhood as the kid of terror. He also picked fights with other kids and stole from the local convenience stores. You live across the street from Robert. Mm -hmm. Did you know him? Mm -hmm. What did it look like? If I was to see him on the street, what, who, what would I see? Dark skin, short, braids in his hair. Brazen? Braids. Braids? How long did you know him? Since I've been staying around here. How long was that? About a year. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What was he like? Bad. Mm -hmm. Bad? Like when you say bad, what do you mean? Fighting, stealing, breaking the people out. I think you should have asked this question. Yeah? Shut up! What, what Somebody always open up that door. Did you ever see like the police coming to his house? Every other day. And him being a kid, he was referred to as Shorty. Do y'all blame Yummy for the situations he put himself in? Because if he's growing up in a gang-torn society and all he sees around him is gangs and gangs and gangs, right? Do y'all think he is at 100% blame? Do y'all think he's at 100% blame? Because you could think about how the government and the people in power 
put our people in these kind of situations and systems and for these things to happen and that these are the only paths they have to choose when it comes to protection, being able to get some sort of money, being able to, you know, do certain things and just survive in their towns and neighborhoods. So do y'all 100% blame him completely? Which made him the lowest ranking gang member in the gang. So the eight ball set would make him do all the dirty work. They would allegedly give him candy for doing dirty work. That's why they would call him yummy allegedly. But it was yeah, August 28, 1994. It was the later evening hours on a Sunday when officers responded to calls of shots fired. When Chicago police officer William Cullen had, he found the 16-year-old boy suffering from gunshot wounds near Wait, why you say, yo? Street and Perry Avenue. The victim was Keontae Britton. He was bleeding from the abdomen and was moaning to Cullenhan leaning down. The officer asked him, who shot you? He responded and said, Yummy shot me. Britton said, I think his name is Robert, which was Robert Sandifer, aka Yummy. But on that day, Damn. the shootings he was linked to were occurring faster than the police could investigate them. Less than two hours later, after Officer Cullinghan supplied a detective with the information he had to pick up a photo of Yummy when he was notified of another shooting. In this incident, two teens were hit. Siobhan Dean, 14 years of age, died immediately. Sammy C managed to escape with a graze wound in one of his legs and a bullet wound in his left this hand. Eleven, but she, yo, this 11 year old kid is wildin'. Just go on a shooting spree? Three people? Mom, she's beautiful. Well, I live just right here. Hey, yo, give him candy for doing all the dirty stuff? Yo, that is some R. Kelly P. Diddy Usher activity. And Freak Mill, too. Y'all gotta watch out for Freak Mill. I heard two shots, and when I heard the two shots, my two kids was um, on the porch. So I was sitting to the table eating my supper at the time. Ran to the door, and so my daughter said, make them all, make the kids come in. So I told my son and my granddaughter to come in the house. So as they came in the house, I sat back down. So some told me to get up and go look out the window. I ran out the back door with my shoes off, and he said, somebody's daughter is laying down here hurt. So, you know, I don't care who child is, I want to help. So I ran out the back door and ran right. right here. And I still didn't know it was my niece laying down there. And so mm -hmm. my brother, he ran out the door and he, he, he ran right there. And then he, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he said that he knew it was his daughter. The police were there so quick. I mean, they was here on the robber. The police, they came and put white gloves on and they felt my niece, you know. But I knew, you know, she wasn't going to make it. His intended target yeah. was a gang member that was leaving his house at the time on that block. Yummy went on a run immediately after these shootings, after people told him that the police was out looking for him. Plus, some of the members from 8-Ball Gang came together to figure out what they would do with Yummy. After this situation started getting major attention from the media, and it turned into a high-profile case overnight. By midnight, he was being sought out by Chicago police as well as FBI agents. Over 20 to 30 officers was on the lookout for a 4, 6, 11-year-old. For the next three days, he was on a run and even stopped at a family member's house. But when she went back in the house and came back out, Yummy was gone. Cassandra Cooper testified she was on her porch with a group of children when they pointed out Sandifer, aka Yummy, as he walked down the street. Aware that the police were searching for him, she called out to him and he walked over. Cooper said after she decided to walk the boy home, he scurried away right after a police squad car pulled up to question the other children about being out after curfew. Cooper said Yummy even returned after the police left. He said that he wanted to turn himself into the police and he wanted his grandmother to turn him in. So Yummy gave her his grandmother's number and so Cooper went to call her. And a few minutes later after she called him, his grandmother Janie Fields drove down the street slowly. Cooper flagged her down and introduced herself to her. She told her that she was the one that called her and she had him. But by the time they walked up to the porch, Yummy was gone again. Jamisha Cooper, her 18-year-old daughter, testified nah, in court what? that when her mother was talking to his grandmother, Fields, 14-year-old Derek Hardaway, who was also a member of the 8 Hold on, team, that's wave he grease? told her that he was going to take Yummy out of town and keep him safe right as Yummy climbed over the porch and left. Cassandra Cooper, the mother, said she was stunned at how quickly Yummy disappeared, but the grandmother believed that she didn't have him at all. 14-year-old Derek Hardaway then met up with his brother, 16-year-old Craig Hardaway. Instead of keeping Yummy safe, they was ordered by higher-ranking gang members to take him out. The
Craig with no I and two G's Instead is of insane. Keeping him. Craig is nuts. Craig is nuts. His name is Craig with two G's and no I. Be safe. They was ordered by higher ranking gang members to take him out. The reason was for him being a high risk of him getting caught and snitching on people. So 16 year old Craig Hardaway and 14 year old Derek Hardaway drove to a railroad underpass at East 108th Street and forced Yummy to his knees and shot him twice in the back of the head. The police would find yeah. his lifeless body in the early morning hours of September 1st 1994. The Hardaway brothers were convicted of Yummy's murder. Dirk Hardaway received 45 years in prison. He was released yeah. in 2016 and Craig Hardaway who pulled the trigger while his brother drove the getaway car will be released December 8th, 2023. Oh, so he's, he's released. That's how it always goes, man. It's, it's not like any river wall when you live in that lifestyle. A lot of people don't know that, that he actually took me home and I can just feel someone right. So when I asked him what's going on and he told me everything, I refused to let him go by himself. I should have been more of a big brother than just get out, right? More than 400 people. Are Niggas say they should have been more of a big brother, bro. And maybe it's because he was 16 at the time. But like y'all really got to think about the situations y'all put yourselves in. I feel like a lot of people don't think about the situations they put themselves in and the things that they do because they feared that he was going to snitch on them, right? So they thought the best decision was not to, like, you know, make him disappear, was not to, like, tell him he has to turn himself in, even though the possibility of him snitching was not to, like, you know, figure it out no nigga said we're gonna end this and kill him and we're gonna go to jail for 40 years for him because what did y'all think was gonna happen y'all gonna kill him and everything was gonna be fine and regular am i bugging i don't know if, am i bugging what's good cheddar what's good yami two tech is crazy yami didn't do nothing he was a straight a student I ain't gonna let a proof is right here. I don't. <laughs> Y'all bucking. Attended Yummy's funeral, and this was major headlines for the news back then. But news. that'll be about it for this video. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments. W video, man. W video. I ain't gonna lie. W video, man. Please send more videos like this in the Discord. This is the type of stuff I would love to react to. I like this. I like this video, man. W video, man. W video, man. Shout out, shout out, old boy. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out Top Viral Report TV. Facts. Facts. We'll be on next, chat. We'll be on next.